Hi guys, just before the video starts, I've got uh, another quite rare, rare Ammonite to, to show you at the end. That's probably to make up for this video because this, this day was bad. Really, really bad. First time going there, so not really sure what to look for. So yeah, hope you enjoy the video regardless. Like I said, stick around at the end. I'll show you something really good just to make up for that. So hope you all enjoy. Morning everybody, another fossil hunting trip. Today uh, I'm out with Liam. We're going, uh, we've gone staves. Been collecting now for six and a half, seven years and not once been staves. Now it's got a lot of middle ice material here. Probably have a walk around to Port Grave depending on tide, tide wise and everything. But yeah, I've never collected here before. The only thing that's really made me go here is because of the starfish that I found yesterday. I know it's come from probably here. So I thought, you know, sod it. Starting to look, build a weird little fascination for the echinoderms now. So I suppose I might end up starting to collect some of that stuff instead. Make it a bit harder for myself. I like a challenge. <laughs> so yeah, no idea what we're going to find. Seen a lot of this very similar material that like you find in Robin Hood's Bay and everything. So at least I know more or less what I'm looking for. Apart from the starfish and crinoid stuff looks like it from pictures what i've seen online it looks like it's like a sandstone type material so that's something to go off but yeah hopefully have a good day and uh see what we can find so yeah enjoy So Liam just shouted me over, he don't want this. I might come and collect it in a bit though, I don't have any bubble wrap at a minute, but look. Crinoid. <laughs> Some really nice, uh, nice ossicles. It's just ridiculous. Right, this stuff just keeps popping up at the minute. It's weirding me out. It's, uh, it's strange. But yeah, it's a nice slab of it. It's in a big loose shale block that's just sat here on the edge of the beach. We'll see when I come back in a bit. Might take it, might not. But yeah, not a bad start to the day seeing Grenoid. Certainly proving to be difficult here. <laughs> I thought I might have an easy time with it, but struggling at the minute. But yeah, we'll plod on. I'm going to get some it regardless. Something rare. Said that yet? Said that yesterday, and I found something rare. So I'll say it again. It's going to happen. I can feel it. Let's go. After about two hours of searching, picked up this little uh, Elegantissimus nodule. Run it probably all the way around here. That's a good start, I suppose. That'll do. That'll do. First find of the day. <laughs> I move a foot from there. Knack a little tenny. Probably just uh, get rid of this outer whirl. Keep that middle there. It's almost got like a green hue to it, so that'll go in the bag. At least it's something for the time being. It's okay, I suppose. Just give uh, this a tap. Let's see. Typical. Another tap. <sighs> Not terrible. So yeah, as I said at the uh, start of the video, start of the video, that was a bad day. <laughs> Not very often I don't take much stuff back, but that was uh, god awful. Really, really bad at staves. But uh, yeah, it's what it is. I'll head back again there at some point and hopefully have a better day next time. So for now, I'll show you one of my uh, other rarer finds. This one's a uh, double Hildoceros. I'm not on, I'm not quite sure why, but you don't tend to find double Hildes for whatever reason. I don't know if like, there was like a more solitary species, but yeah, I'll show you. 
So yeah, this was the uh, original side I started prepping on. I found this four years ago, five years ago at Port Mulgrave. I can remember being uh, sat in a fella's shed at Mulgrave called Nick, a really nice guy. Looking at some of my finds throughout that day and I looked at this and I'm like, yeah, nice hildy, nice hildy. And then just above here, you could tell there was a keel. It's obviously interesting, never seen that before. Takes home preps this side, blown out there, blown out here, it's not great. But then decided, got to give the other, way, the other side a go. But it was worth it. A little section lost there, which I might fill in at some point down the line. But a double hildy, you don't get much rarer than that. They're really, really hard and difficult to come by. <sighs> Chances of finding one of them again is not very high, but I'll carry on looking. But yeah, quality find. So yeah, hope you uh, hope you all enjoyed that. Nice double hildy. The only one I've ever found. Come close with a couple of partials with them before with them before, but never two four watt full ones in the same block. So yeah. That uh that was a good day that unlike that day. <laughs> but yeah, hope you all enjoyed. Subscribe, like, comment, tell me what you think. See if uh comment if you've got any ideas for any other videos, because I don't want to just do just prep videos and uh and hunting videos trying to figure some stuff out so if you've got any ideas let me know and uh hope you all enjoyed and i hope you all have a good day see you later